pride and humility. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week, I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Luke chapter 18, verses 9 to 14. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. Psalm chapter 9, verse 12. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips, and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Psalm chapter 12, verse 3. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Psalm chapter 40, verse 4. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Psalm chapter 138, verse 6. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 2. The Lord will destroy the house of the proud, but he will establish the border of the widow. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 25. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 33. Every one that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 5. Pride goeth before destruction, and an haughty spirit before a fall. Better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly, than to divide the spoil with the proud. Proverbs chapter 16, verses 18 to 19. Before destruction the heart of man is haughty, and before honor is humility. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 12. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 4. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 23. The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, and blesseth the covetous, whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. Psalm chapter 10, verses 2 to 4. For who maketh thee to defer from another? And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Now if thou didst receive it, why dost thou glory, as if thou hast not received it? 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. James chapter 4 verse 6 Likewise ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder, yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 5-6 to six. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. 1 John chapter 2, verse 16